Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Lawler here. We're back from the Apex in Canada. If you guys don't know what the heck I'm talking about, we hosted a LAN, $10,000 LAN at Lethmere's house. Uh, the VODs are up. Go check them out. Uh, but because of that, we were away for a week, so we've got a lot to catch up on, specifically in the roster scenarios. We've got a bunch of videos catching up over the last week. Uh, we're going to start with roster stuff today. Probably tomorrow we'll do some FIFA E World Cup result stuff. And who knows where we'll go from there. Either way, uh, if you guys don't know how to do this or haven't seen us before, easiest way to do so is checking out my roster document. If you do exclamation point RLCS rosters here in the Twitch chat, or for those watching on YouTube, go to the description. There is a link to this document, which will pull up. We try to update it as frequently as possible. Confirmations on the left, things that are locked in that are happening, rumors on the right. And we try to update this as frequently as possible. We'll be doing power rankings and stuff as well when the new season drops. But with that in mind, let's actually talk about the teams. Some of these are going to be a little bit outdated because I have not been here. So I apologize. But for everybody who's watching on the YouTube audience, uh, not everybody is glued to Reddit and Twitter like you are. So with that in mind, first one's first. And I might be touching on these again. I just have to remember where we're at. But uh, AJG has announced new team with Tecos and Dorito. Looks like AJG completing the world tour travel as he is now going to be going and competing likely in Europe, as he states. They will be competing in Europe. So it's not even likely. It is happening. So AJG going over to Europe to complete with Dorito and Tecos. I do like Tecos a lot as a player. I think Dorito is talented. But is it going to be a competitive team? I personally cannot see this team making majors, which is unfortunately kind of my barrier. That's my threshold of teams that I'm like energy time. I will selfishly root for this team because I like the guys. But I do not think this team is going to be as competitive as one would hope. Top eights are probably their peak, in my opinion. I don't see them winning a single quarter final, uh, unfortunately, because of the competition that they're up against. I think the top four EU is so heavily stacked. Um, this one is going to be, in my opinion, probably a power rank anywhere from like 9 to 12 pretty consistently. Whether they beat out a team in the 2-2 round of Swiss, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, after that, we've got a Chronic. A lot of people have been asking what the heck is going on with him. We haven't seen his name anywhere. And it looks like he is pairing with an old gun and a new gun. Uh, a Chronic and be pairing with Matane. If you guys don't know the name, you should. Uh, been part of that Monkeys roster. They were Misfits for a little bit. Uh, Endpoint, I think, as well. Like They've gone through a lot of different iterations. It was Matane, Arju, Smokes, Cash. Like They, they had a bunch of different people field through. Uh, but... Chronic Matein pairing up with Eugen, the new French wonder kid. Uh, one of many between him, Mozzarella. Uh, I got to think of some of the other ones. It's been a little bit since I've thought all about uh, Rocket League esports stuff. But uh, yeah, Eugen, talented player. Will these vets be able to kind of steer him in the right direction? That's kind of what we're hoping for. Uh, but Eugen, a very talented player who did make top 16s a little bit last year, but never really too solidified maybe we'll see that change i feel like a chronic still got a lot left in the tank but is the work ethic there are the results going to be there we'll have to wait and see up next confirmed for the next year we were wondering what was going on you heard me kind of allude to it and provide rumors uh i felt pretty dang confident about this one happening based upon the relationships uh, but i am very surprised to see jack and Joria's teaming up again uh, the thing is, is this was the Dignitas roster. Stizzy being rebuilt around with Violent Panda as coach. Uh, but they have confirmed that there is no Dignitas this time. They have not received a formal contract. They are looking for an organization, whether it be in North America or Europe. They are open to either as long as the offer makes sense. Um, I think this team is so easy to root for. I even put that as my reply. I think this is a very favorable team. I think all the guys on the team are very well liked. Um, as long as the work ethic is there, as long, as long as they're willing to grind and stuff, from what I've heard from scrims, the team looks pretty dang good. Very interesting to see how it plays out. Um, I think this team has a lot of potential, but is this going to be a winning combination? I don't know. We've seen it in the past. Maybe things have changed over the years, but I very much so selfishly as a person like this team, uh, just because I enjoy the people that are on it. So very much so rooting for this. If it was up to them, I think they're going to want to compete in NA because EU looks incredibly difficult to make top four. Even with last chance qualifier providing a fifth and final spot, I don't think they are favorites. I think they are probably in that fighting for fourth spot area. Maybe they'll surprise some people, but I do, like I said, like this team. Uh, next, we've got some rumors coming from Achilles saying that Swift is expected to be under the team secret banner alcongside Mota, Mata and kv1 
Uh, Swift obviously has been kind of thrown around a little bit, but very talented team across the board. I do think this team could be very, very solid for the South American region. Um, if this is the case, I think they'll be one of the favorites, completely honest. Uh, obviously, you got to get past Furia and everything else, but um, expect these guys probably be top two, top three, no doubt. After that, we've got uh, one that we've already seen rumored, but it seems like they're leaning into it more now. Uh, obviously, Joey and Archie, the former Oxygen roster, trying to find their new third. Uh, the fact that they're holding up a picture of Oli, I think, kind of tells everything you need to. This has been what the rumor is as well, because the jury is an Oli Super Ole team is no longer together. I can say that confidently as the coach. Um, they have kind of gone their separate ways and try to figure out where they can fill in. It feels like Oli is going to go back with his former teammate that kicked him, which is pretty surprising. Um, but again, if no other options are out there, makes sense. Find a team, make a run, obviously talented players. But is it going to be the same woes and problems where they even admit, hey, our hours are like two hours past two weeks. We don't really grind. We kind of casual. That's been part of the reason for holding Archie back is while they can go and perform at the major, we saw them make the underdog run. I need someone that's willing to put in that time and effort during the season as well. So we'll see how this team ends up planning out. There is still a lot of talent on this team, but will it be enough to go and win? As a betting person, probably not. I don't foresee this team making the major. I really don't. I think there is too much talent in their way uh, with the French teams and everything else that's being developed. The new Gentlemates is really, really good. What might be ninjas in pajamas, really, really good. So we'll see how that all plays out. Up next, speaking of that NIP team, this is the rumor. Uh, Atachi, in my opinion, getting the better end of the deal. Atachi kicked off and Gentlemates is pairing with the former Oxygen player of Oski and Nas, the new Wonder Kid, who I had the privilege of coaching temporarily. I think that kid, sky's the limit. As long as he doesn't succumb to the same problems beast mode had where he feels like hey we're underperforming i need to make up and do everything i have to be the one to carry i have to go for every ball i have to do it and because of that it kills rotations it causes frustration and things fall apart if they learn to trust their system and trust their process and move forward intelligently this team sky's the limit to me this is like a top three roster i think this team has so much talent and so much potential Atachi's challenge game is still one of the best in the world oski's incredible on offense and defense and nas supporting it like I think this team's got a lot of potential and you've got two very solid people to help coach Nas into that next echelon of his career. This is probably one of my favorite teams. I, I really enjoy this team. Like the personalities, like the mentality. I think this team's got a ton of potential. Um, I think NIP, if they're signing this roster, they're getting them for a steal. So very excited to watch this roster uh, compete on the live stage. Uh, outside of that... Last but not least, we do have confirmation with Gentlemates. They have confirmed their roster officially uh, with Juicy, Seiko, and Redosa. We knew this one was coming, but now we have an official announcement. People jumping out of planes and stuff and, and showcasing their Alpine uh, sponsorship. Uh, but good to see the, the conversation. If you guys also don't know one of their owners, Squeezy, he has rumored and basically confirmed where the World Championship location is going to be. We will be talking about that in a future video uh, because this one's already way too long. Uh, with that in mind, though, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about what's going down in the ROCS scene, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you leave your comments down there while doing so. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow the roster document, stop at the stream. We're always happy to chat. Uh, but as always, I will do my best to make sure I keep you guys up to date on all things Rocket League related. Uh, but with that, I'm out of here. Peace.